Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I wanted to talk about Anna's new uh, Cricut cartridge, Anna's Ribbons and Bows, that just came out, uh, available only on HSN until sometime later this spring, I believe. And um, this cartridge is perfect for scrapbook backgrounds, gift tags, bag toppers, embellishments, and party decor. And I wanted to um, show you guys real quick how to find it in Design Space and then also how to size the images and a little bit about those. And then the main burning question that I know you're going to have is, how do we put those bows together? I am in my Design Space account and I've gone into cartridges and then I did a search for Anna's ribbons and bows. Right now, if you purchase this cartridge, you need to go through the linking process. Which now I'm actually in looking at the images in Anna's ribbons and bows. There are actually uh, six different bow, actually 3D bow shapes. There are I think five what I would can I would call these layered bows. They're not three-dimensional, but you would layer the pieces to make it look like a bow. And um, and then there are about ten of these bag toppers. That's what this these shapes are. And there's uh, I think twelve of these tags. That and then, of course, you have these background shapes, and there's some really pretty ones on here. And I believe there's 12 of those as well. These you could use in your for backgrounds on your scrapbook pages or on cards or whatever you want to use them on. But I know you're going to want to know how do you put these bows together? So, um, and then how can you size them? In the Cricut handbook that you get with your cartridge, underneath each of the images, it'll give you a little red um, kind of a oval shape that tells you a number, three inches. They're talking about the height of the image. That is the minimum number that they recommend you try to cut that image out. So you can certainly make them bigger than that if you want, but don't make them smaller than that number that's in the handbook for each of the images. Let's go ahead and look at that. So we're gonna work with this bow first. And this one, when I click the little eye icon, this one's called the double bow. And we're going to add that to our mat. So I'm going to do insert. And when it comes in, it comes in kind of small. Okay. Now this one is just one layer of um, paper that you would cut. And it actually comes in at 2.4 inches high. All right. So if you follow the handbook directions, you know you could you, you couldn't. They really don't recommend you make it that small. But three inches high. Um, they said would be the smallest you could make this bow. Okay, what I decided to do was I want to make I wanted to make one that was as large of a bow as I could on a 12 by 12 mat. So how did I do that? I or I'm on the image, and then I want to go ahead and adjust the width of the bow. Now I'm leaving this locked, but if I adjust the width of the bow to 11 and a half inches, because that is how um, how big I could actually cut something on a 12 by 12 mat, then I then I have changed my bow size and it goes all the way up to eight inches high, okay? So when they're measuring the bows, they're talking about the highest point on the bow. So in this instance, we're talking about this top measurement here, all the way down to the lowest tip of the bow, okay? So it's not talking about once you put the bow together, it's gonna be eight inches. They're talking about the, the measurement of the image flat is going to be eight inches, okay? All right, so I'm gonna hit go and we're gonna cut this out and I will meet you back over at my demo table to show you what it looks like after you cut it out. Hey everybody, it's Debbie and I am going to show you the actual, how to put the some of the bows together in the new Anna's Ribbons and Bows cartridge. Now. This is, this is the cartridge, and like I said, it's exclusive to HSN right now, and sometime later this spring of 2016, you'll be able to purchase it um, in at Cricut.com. But for right now, if you want this, you need to get it at HSN. Now, here is the booklet that comes in it, and I mentioned this earlier, and you'll see all the images in your booklet. 
okay? And down here on the bottom of the booklet, it actually tells you, is there in a red circle it says three inches, or it says eight centimeters, okay? I'm talking in inches because I'm in the U.S. Um, at three inches. That means that they recommend that these images are not cut any smaller than three inches, okay? So I just wanted to show you what the booklet looks like and then where I'm getting the numbers from that they are recommending. All right, so earlier you saw me take the bow and I'll show you which one we're working with here. We are, now I wrote in my handbook the number in design space and what the name of the bow is just so I'd be able to show you guys and talk about them as we do each one. Okay, so the one we're going to work on is the one that's called the double bow and it's one of the three-dimensional bows and you'll see that in a moment. And then, um, so we're going to have that out. And I went ahead and made this bow as large as I could make it, right? Well, you showed me, I, I, uh, you watched me do that. However, in the handbook, it says three inches. If, I'm, if I size this to the height in design space at three inches, it makes a, this tiny bow, okay? It's super cute. It'd be great uh, to put on, on several different, you know, little packages and whatever. But... When you measure this, the bow is actually two inches, okay? So it says three inches high for the height, but when you measure it, it is only going to be about two inches because of the flatness of the file when you have it in design space, okay? So this three inch height measurement is going to make a two inch bow, okay? I also did one at and use six inches as my height okay and it made a bow this size now let's measure this one now this one is five inches okay so this one is i measured i put three as the height and it's only two inches this one i measured at i put the height in at six inches and it's only five inches so it looks like if you want to make a bow, this particular bow, you would, and you want a, a actual three inch bow, you would need to make this four inches to make it three inches. I hope that makes sense. So you're losing about one inch from the measurement of where you put it in for the height for this particular bow, okay? Just as a general idea. So this bow I put in at eight inches, okay? Which is the same size as I did here when you, that you saw me in design space earlier, I made it as large as it would go on a 12 by 12 mat. So I sized it at 11 and a half inches wide, which made it about eight inches from the top of the point to here. Okay, so if I measure that down, that's exactly what I've got here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me, let me see if I could show that better. Okay, so if I measure it from the highest point to the lowest point, it's right at eight inches on my, on my ruler, okay? So this bow at eight inches in height actually is about seven inches tall from the top to the bottom, okay? Once you put it together. So my theory is make the bow in, make the height in design space one inch larger than the actual bow size that you want to end up with. So if you want a three inch bow, put the height in as four inches and then you should come out at the right um, size for your bow. Okay, so I now have this bow. This is the one that I just we were just talking about and it is now flat like it is when you cut it out and I showed you how I size this in design space. I wanted it to be the largest size bow that I could make on 11 and a half um, by 11 and a half piece of paper, right? Uh, so that it'll cut on the 12 by 12 mat. So if I was to measure this, the very tip point up here at the top of the image down to the tip of the lowest par part of the image is exactly eight inches, okay? 
So that is how it gets measured. And then we're going to put it together. Now, you can use a tape runner if you want. You can use some quick dry liquid adhesive if you want. I am actually going to use some of my glue dots because I want this bow to stay in place. And um, I don't want to wait for the glue to dry while I'm doing the demo of the different bows. And the tape runner, I'm just concerned that it won't hold it down well enough because we're working with bended shapes. So I'm going with my glue dots. You use whatever you prefer to work with. But what I found is we're going to be we're going to be moving these in to shape the edges of the bow. And you don't want to have creases in that. You want that to be a nice, beautiful, rounded flow. So get yourself a pencil and all you're going to do is I'm going to use the four shapes that are the actual bow and I'm just going to slightly curl them a little bit just so that it's easier. Now I'm doing this gently. I'm not pulling on the paper. I'm just kind of helping shape those four pieces. Okay, so that when I curve them in and add adhesive to the center, they're going to curve really nicely. And of course I need to do my tab part, which becomes the middle of my bow. Okay, so now that I have those done, I want to add some adhesive. So I just need four dots here at the moment. And these, if you haven't used these before, I love these. They're little blue dots. They come in a package. You can buy them at the craft stores. I know Michael's has them and Joann's and um, Hobby Lobby. And also I get them online. But anyway, so here is, it has a plastic liner. And then this is the waxy side, so you don't need that side. Your glue dot is actually on the back of the, of the clear plastic. So it's kind of hard for you all to see that probably. But there is a glue dot there. Okay. And I'm just going to add that to the inside of my bow loop. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this in. Now when I fold it in, I want to leave that nice curve shape and I'm just going to put this here to the middle of my bow. And I'm going to do that on all four of these that are bending over. Okay, I'm just going to go to the center like that. And then I'm going to do the other two sides. And these make great bows to put on any kind of packaging, right? And there are several different styles of bows on this cartridge. And I'm going to show you real quick how to make all of the styles so that you know how to put your bows together. Because that, I know, was a question y'all are going to have. Okay, so here is this now the bows form this way, and then this piece is your loop that goes underneath and goes and gets adhered on the back of your bow, okay? So that's how it forms the loop in the center of the bow. So I need to put another glue dot on that little flap, and I'm putting it on the inside. And then all I have to do is curl this around. And there again, I don't want to flatten this. I want to leave it because these are supposed to be dimensional. Okay. I want to leave that so it's a loop. You can see that it's a loop. Here is, I did not flatten this down. Okay. And now I have a beautiful bow. We're going to work on the swag bow. The swag bow has a piece that looks like this and there again I sized all of these so that they would be the largest shape that I could cut in design space so that um, it one it would be easier for y'all to see me put these together and also I just like bigger bows to put on packages so there you go all right so you're gonna have one piece that's that's going to be your top bow and then one that's your back bow we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we did on the other ones I've already taken my pencil and kind of curved the edges of this around just so that um, it gives them a little bit more shape and I don't worry about adding a crease on the ed loops of my bow. Okay, and I'm just adding the glue dots in here. Super easy to do. Okay, 
So now that I have these done, I'm just going to form this into the middle, making sure I leave that loop up. Okay, I want my loops to be not smashed down. Okay, so now I have all four of my loops put in. Okay, now this is the swag bow and it has a topper piece that goes right here. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to add some glue dots. To these. And I'm just going to do one over here. Adding those in. And I'm going to put one on this side. one off of there okay so now this one's gonna fold into the middle okay so I want it to be in the middle of this of the of this okay and then this is gonna fold over and create the center of your bow okay so I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive dot on the back of this one so I have the glue dot on there and I'm just going to fold this around just like we did the other one and I'm not going to flatten the center of that bow. I'm just going to press along the back. Okay, so now you have a nice um, bow shape. If, I, if you look at it this way, you can see that it's a bow shape and this is sticking out. And then this is going to go on top of this one. Okay, so it's going to look like that. And now I have this bow done. Okay, so it's really pretty, has a lot of dimension to it. Let's work on the petite bow. And the petite bow looks really odd <laughs> when you cut it out. Okay, so the petite bow has, these almost look like leaps, right? Okay, so the petite bow is actually kind of um, interesting because once we form the bow, then we put it on our back uh, piece of the bow, which is the tail of the bow use my pencil and shape these just a little bit like I showed you earlier just so that they curve in a little bit better and this just kind of helps loosen the, the paper fibers up a little bit so that you get a nice smooth curve and you can see I'm just barely pulling it and just kind of letting it kind of break those fibers up a little bit okay and now we're going to glue all of those points down into the center of the bow. This is really pretty. When I first saw this bow, I was like, hmm, that is really kind of an interesting bow. I hadn't seen one like that before. Okay, and we've got two more pieces here to form the center of the bow, to the center of the bow. Okay, now once I get this folded, you'll see that now you have the four loops of the bow, but there's double loops. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing where we're going to fold this over, and that becomes the center of our bow. Okay, and then this is your tail piece, and you're going to just add your bow to the top of the tail. So then this forms... The, this one's called the petite bow. All right, so we're going to go to the next bow, and that is called the flip bow. And the pieces for the flip bow are really kind of odd looking. <laughs> okay, so here is the flip bow shape, and you have a center and you have the tail. Okay, so for this one, you want to form, you want to add your adhesive to each of the Each of the petals, or loops, I guess I shouldn't call them petals. This one just looks more like a flower to me, so I called it a petal anyway. Uh, the loops on your bow. Okay. And then I'm just going to add some adhesive, and I'm going to put it down in the middle of this dot here in the center. Okay, and make sure I'm not smashing any of my, any of my 
loops because I need them to be nice and pretty. So I'm only pressing in the center. I'm not pressing on the paper of the loop. And then I'm going to add some adhesive here and then put it in the center. Okay, so you have that much of your bow. Then this piece goes in the middle. All right, so you're going to put adhesive all around the underside of that loop and then push your loop, push this into the center of your loop. Okay, like this. And then this is your tail, and it gets positioned behind your two bottom loops, okay? So here's your loops, and then this gets positioned so it, it's going to fit behind those bottom two loops to form the bow, all right? So I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive along those edges there, and then I'm going to add my bow on top so that I can see where it aligns because I don't want the points of the back of the ribbon to be showing, right? Okay, and then you have the center piece goes here and then I'm just going to use a couple of foam dots on the top of this. You could just use your tape runner if you want, but I think it'll look cuter if I want to put center on here okay and so that is how you make this bow so this is what they call the flip bow okay kind of cute I could see adding more embellishment on the top of this and uh, really dressing this up and you could even probably add another one of the loops behind this and make it an even fuller uh, bow if you wanted okay so that's the flip bow and then, let's see, well, we're going to work on the rose bowl. Okay, the rose bow is, <laughs> it's really interesting. And um, it has several little pieces to it. So it has, let me lay down this back one. Okay, so it has two of these, um, they look like pinwheels, I guess. Okay, and then it has two um, tails, okay, for the bow. It has a little uh, flower shape and it has a center piece, okay. And for this one, I've already gone ahead and used my um, pencil and I curled all the edges up, okay. And I did the same thing on this one. This one is the background one and it is slightly larger. And I went ahead and added my adhesive to this one to show you what we were making, okay. So that's the background of the bow, and then we're going to make the middle of the bow, the next layer. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on the edge of all of these tips and start folding them into the center. So I'm going to add that one to the middle. Okay, so now I have two pieces. This one goes inside of here. You could, you know, want to add your adhesive into the middle here. And then you'll add this loop, this loopy one into the center. Starting to look really pretty already. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my tails to this. And these are all individual. These both of these are individual tails, so you can kind of get a feel for what angle you want your tails at. Again, it's called the rose bow. Okay. And then you have a little piece that goes that goes here. And um, then you have a topper piece that goes here. This is the rose bow. All right, and it's very dimensional, as you can see here, with the various loops and shapes. So it's really cute. And I think we have one more bow to put together, and then we will have done all of the dimensional bows. Okay, now we're going to do the pinwheel bow. Okay, and you'll see that one here in just a second. And there again, it's another one of these that has this um, tab piece on it. And then there's just two, these are the two points that go to the center. So this one goes together really quickly. And this one's called the pinwheel bow. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the center. Okay, and I've already, I've already used my um, pencil on this to form the edges of my, form the loops of my bow. 
Okay, so now you have this piece, and then, then you have a little medallion piece that you cut out that goes in the center. And of course, you could cut that out out of different paper. And then this is the pinwheel bow. Okay, so these are all the bows that you can make in the new Anna's Ribbons and Bow cartridge. And so I hope you had a lot of fun, and I will talk to you guys later, and uh, enjoy the new Anna's Ribbons and Bows cartridge.